Yo, okay, gang, what's going on? It's your boy RK back with another squad upgrade on my main account. So, we are at 102 OVR for a while now, and I think unless EA releases 98 OVR, the next OVR is not possible. But you know what? I'm still gonna do a few more changes, try to get as many players at 97 OVR. Before we get into the video, we have some amazing stuff, guys. Not really amazing, but you know, some extra stuff in the game, which is the Easter treasure hunt. So, basically, all you gotta do is find three Easter eggs, guys, uh, in the game, and then you can use those three. Uh, easter eggs to open this pack which gives you two mascheranos one premium easter logo and a normal easter logo and an easter kit it's pretty straightforward so you're gonna you have to find this easter eggs in the game guys i found one easter egg so far and i think it's only one per day maximum but if you found another one let me know in the comment section below this is the first easter token guys i'm assuming that you can uh, claim one per day or something you know you have to find this easter egg and luckily i found this very quickly it, it hardly took like a couple of minutes for me in the flash freeze chapter you'll find it right over here guys make sure to go claim that easter eggs and then you can exchange for two master runners so spare master runners i'll take that anyways now let's jump into the squad upgrade guys so this is one of the packs i opened before you know uh when i was not recording on camera but you know what i just want to show you all the packs i've opened so this is a big pack to be honest because it has a guaranteed 94 to 97 rated uh player and i was i actually opened this pack uh you know for for packing lucio but uh yeah that didn't really go according to the plan i don't remember what i, I packed here i think it's forlan yeah that's forlan guys so i basically packed forlan as the striker so that's the first 2000 fc points or, uh, or 100 pack uh, which has 100 players look forlan is not at all a bad one to be honest he's a great striker but we already have r9 so i'm not really looking for better strikers or something i think r9 is a best striker by a mile and this is the second pack i opened i i opened this a while ago guys like five or six days back so i don't really remember what i packed i think even this one i packed forlan so let's have a look so Oh, never mind. That's Cap de Villa. So yeah, I packed Forlan and Cap de Villa, two amazing untradeable cards that you can have. But the main reason of why I opened these packs are to pack Lucio, but that didn't that didn't happen. But then this happened, guys. I tried opening these 80 sound to 90 sound exchanges. Let me show you all the 80 sound to 90 sound exchanges I opened. Uh, this is what happened, guys. So I actually opened those 2000 FC points packs to to in in order. I mean, trying to pack Lucio, but I got him in the 80 sound to 90 sound exchange, guys. I was very lucky because uh, this I packed him uh, and the two days later I packed Maldini untradeable as well so my pack like has been crazy good guys I'm not even exaggerating here that's a crazy good center back card and Lucio plus Maldini that's gonna be a deadly combination let's have a look at what I packed in the second 80 sound or 90 sound I don't really remember this guys here we go it's a normal walkout this time all right china okay that's not definitely not good so yeah we've got um some center back 87 80 center back let's see what else did i pack in this pack i mean all 87 so that was not the best one but you know what after packing lucio why would you even complain guys about bad pack i'm gonna stop complaining about my packs for the next one week or 10 days you know because i packed uh, lots of amazing players uh, which you're gonna see at the later parts of the video so yeah the next pack is also china center back and then the same player we packed back to back so yeah that's what we got and once again we packed three 80 sound rated players that's how our three uh 80 sound 90 sound rated exchanges went like so guys this is how my team is looking like right now and i think it's time to replace marquez with lucio guys so let's bring in lucio and you know what i've got a lot of match runners in my club so if you're wondering how i'm getting those match runners basically every day you can buy two match runners for 900 rupees or just like around 11 dollars or 12 dollars so yeah the first two rank ups is always a Access. so yeah lucio to 98 over here, it's done and then to 99 also it's 100 percent probability so let's go do it and yep that's a success again so obviously uh, 100 percent probability just like i said before and now this is where the 50 percent chance begins so yeah let's go guys and i think that's a failure that's a failure that did the digits didn't move up guys so that means it's a failure and let's go again so this time it's another 50 percent probability and it's gonna be a failure guys it's kind of disappointing not gonna lie and then let's go again guys let's go again this time it's it's a success so yeah we wasted one extra match runner there normally you can up upgrade from two to three ranks with two master runners but you know what this time i'm gonna go four guys let's take the risk and yep that that paid out so in total i haven't actually wasted any master runners not bad guys i don't think i want to go to the next level guys i, I don't think i, I want to rank him up again i don't want to do it i'm quite tempted though i think i'm gonna pass guys i think i'm gonna pass it you know here we go guys i leveled him up to 25 levels so not at all bad now he looks like a solid center back option and we got some skill points to use and of course i'm gonna make him a no 
no nonsense uh, i mean center back yeah defending is what i'm gonna boost and yeah he's gonna be a no nonsense center back and my whole defense is on no nonsense guys this is how the stats look like great shooting great pace great defending great physical he's got all 80 plus stats for a center back guys which is spectacular i mean all 90 plus apart from the shooting so what a lovely card to have in your club guys and these are the attributes for the people interested you can just pause the screen and have a look at the uh in-game stats and then he's got powerful driven free kick dice into tackles leadership and power headed traits such a beautiful card so we got another amazing unfavorable and i'm gonna place him in the right center back position and yeah guys as you can see as compared to Laurent blanc he's miles ahead guys despite Laurent blanc being at 30 levels quick comparison to marquez as well marquez only got better pace and passing rest on lucio is clear and i think i'm gonna sell both marquez and Laurent blanc guys also guys there is another pack which i forgot to show you so yeah this is off camera by the way i ha I, I was recording it before i was going to sleep and yeah here we go this is what i got this pack is definitely gonna blow your mind guys that's for sure we packed r9 okay put put that aside let me show you what else did we pack in the same pack uh yeah here we go i packed zarzinho as well guys two amazing brazilian striker and right wing players so wow i think it's probably one of the best packs in fc mobile so far guys undoubtedly that's one of the best uh pack in fc mobile because 296 and 97 prime icons i mean team of their icons in the same pack i was very happy with that i got rd and ranked up card anyways but still you know for the flexing vibes that's a good pack guys all right guys so those are all my pre-recorded packs but now i'm gonna be opening these mls packs guys these look good to be honest i'm gonna open this one and also i'm gonna open uh, this one both of them but first let me just go and purchase some fc points guys all right guys so first i'm gonna begin with this pack i guess yeah this has 390 to 97 liter players and 1088 to 97 liter players all i want is to pack lothar Matthias for my team or i don't mind stoichko and messi as well so let's go guys 1500 fc points for this one here we go this is just the 10,000 coins and this is where we got uh, some big players it's a normal walkout guys this is greece striker I've got no clue who this is, but that's definitely bad pull. That's a bad one, guys. Honestly, that's a very bad pack. But let's move on to the next one. You know, we still got a few more packs to open. So the next pack is gonna be this 88 to 97 to do tradable MLS pack. So let's go. 10,000 gems, guys. Here comes the pack. Let's have a look. Oh my god, it's a normal player. Scotland. Oh, this is the right winger uh, Russell or something. What's his name? I forgot. Yeah, that's Russell, guys. So 90 rated is the best card. That is disappointing. But you know what? That's fine, guys. You can't win in all the packs. So the next pack is gonna be this one. 2000 FC points. This has 194 to 97 guaranteed player and 690 to 97 rated MLS players. I mean, yeah, this is a very big pack, guys. Honestly, let's have a look at what we're gonna pack. And this is just a 10,000 coins one. This is where we have the uh, untradeable players. Here comes the play pack, guys okay i i i packed storage cow guys i packed storage cow wow so 900 is storage cow can i complain about this definitely not i can't complain about storage cow here we actually packed two storage cows in the same pack no freaking way guys that is a massive 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 dub this is one of my best packs once again two 900 players in the same pack that was unexpected insane pack luck for us so yes guys now it's time to begin the upgrades once again so the next upgrade i'm gonna be doing is i want to bring in 9700 lothar Matthias guys and also we have the left wing which is storage Cow, but i'm not sure if it's as good as mbappe guys so let me just check the stats of storage cow at 25 uh, levels so these are the stats of storage cow versus mbappe at base rating but you know what i'm gonna train them both to 25 levels guys then we can get a detailed stats of both of them and also guys for a left finger according to me pace and dribbling is one of the most important aspects so let's see guys who is leading in overall stats and also in the pace and dribbling stat i'm sure mbappe is quicker you know let's have a look i'm gonna boost the dexterity for both of them i'm gonna check the dexterity stat first let's have a look at the stats pace mbappe is better with 148 pace versus 142 shooting mbappe is better there as well 126 shooting versus 125 passing storage curve is better six better than mbappe and coming to dribbling mbappe is clear here as well defending and physical storage curve is better i think you know what i'm just gonna stick to mbappe guys i'm sticking to mbappe i wish uh those two cards were um lothar matthews instead but you know what that's fine lothar matthews is gonna come to my 
my team and he's gonna replace KDB guys. Let's go get Lotha Matthews. So he's also got a 97 liter CDM card and he's got a 97 liter Sendermit card as well. So I'm just gonna get this one. I'm probably gonna get this, you know, one or two unrated Lotha Matthews and I'm gonna rank him up to one or two OVR. So let's go do it. And the purchase of Matthaus has been successful. 235 million. Now I'm gonna try ranking him up to 30 levels guys, five ranks. So let's replace KDB with Lotha Matthews. No offense to KDB, he's a great card, but you know what? Matthew's card looks amazing guys. All his stats are 90 plus if I'm not wrong. Yes, almost all his stats are 90 plus except the physical which is fine. Now it's time to rank him up. I think I'm gonna take a risk here guys. I'm gonna go 7 at a time or 8. Yeah, I'm gonna 8 at a time. So let's go. If this is a failure and yes, that's a success guys. So I saved 2 Marshallanos there which is fine. Uh, which is decent, you know, not fine really. I mean, yeah, we got 1 or 2 Lotha Matthews now. Let's go. Let's just use the skill points just like, uh, wait, let me just check what skill points I used on Road Hullet and I used defending on Road Hullet guys. I think I'm gonna go the same, you know, with Lotha Matthews. Let me have a look. His defending is great, guys. I don't think I have to boost the defending or else I'm not sure. I think I'm just gonna go with defending, guys. Let's just, just go with defending and physical. Look at this card. He can play as a center back, he can play as a cam, he can play as a CDM. Another versatile card. So let's go upgrade. I mean, you know, upgrade him. So yeah, now it's time to train him as well to 30 levels. I'm gonna train him and I'll be back, guys. And I have successfully trained him to 30 levels ranks guys and look at the card at 30 ranks 115 pace 110 shooting 126 passing 120 dribbling 125 defense and 103 physical you know what let's do a quick comparison of the stats you know of Lothar Matthews with with Rude Hullet. so let me just quickly swap in Lothar Matthews here oh my god Rude Hullet is actually way clear guys I mean look at it look at that comparison all red for Lothar Matthews and except the defending so let's have a you know a detailed look guys coming to the work rates both of them high and high but the advantage for uh, Rude it is his height guys he's very tall and he's strong as well so let's have a look at the pace pace wise there is actually a big difference uh rude hullet has actually got 122 pace whereas this guy has got like 115 116 and coming to the shooting it's not really a big difference all you know plus twos and plus threes between them both so that's fine that's almost equal and coming to the passing a rude hullet is better here look at that look at the curve look at the crossing look at the long passing everything rude hullet is better and coming to the dribbling as well rude hullet is better but i think uh you know lotha matthews might be good because he is shorter than Rude Hullet. Normally, longer players, I mean, taller players, uh, don't really feel that uh, that good while dribbling. So, I don't really think it's going to be a big disadvantage here for Lothar Matthews. Uh, and coming to the defense, yeah, Lothar Matthews is better actually. And coming to the heading, uh, strength, and uh, the jumping, yeah, Rude Hullet is better. And the aggression, Lothar Matthews is better. Yeah, I mean, both insane cards. So, I'm going to use them both as well. And let me just bring in KDB to the team, guys. And with that, we almost reached 5 billion, uh, you know, uh, team value mark but let me just put in another player hopefully with that we might reach there here we go let's bring in sanchez and yep we actually made a 5 billion coin worth team guys that's a big big team not gonna lie so yes guys this is the squad upgrade and that yeah with that the squad upgrade is done now what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be playing a head-to-head -head match with this beautiful team guys i can't wait to destroy my opponents so let's go and here we go guys we found our opponent and he's got 97 attack 96 midfield and 94 defense so yeah rating wise our team is clear guys but you know what never underestimate a head-to-head -head player with their rating because some players are just too skilled guys so yeah this is my opponent's team and this is my team so to be honest he's got a decent team not really heavily ranked up or something decently ranked up so let's go and start scoring some goals guys oh he's actually playing very well guys his passing is decent it's very good r9 to root hullet Oh no, I, I was about to take a power shot there, but he has successfully contained it. That is nice from Carlos Alberto, good dribbling. Oh, Milik with Savage once again. Oh, Pele. That's a foul, that's a foul. Pele gets a yellow card, man. That was not the best tackles from Pele, but we have stopped the counter attack there. That is nice from Lucio. Lucio has been very nice so far. And Messi. Oh, Zamrota. That is nice. But Messi wins it back. And Messi, he can score. He can score. That is fantastic from Messi, guys. Look at that. He loses the ball but wins it back. And that lane change and finish on... I mean, that's a ratty goal. But you know what? That's fine. That's a rat goal, honestly. I don't really like scoring with the lane change plus shooting. But you know what? That's fine, guys. Oh, where is my Roberto Carlos? He's in the attack, guys. That is bad. Okay, Carlos Alberto. 
That is nice. Carlos Alberto so far good defensive performance. Him and Lucio. So that's half time, and my opponent has been spamming thumbs down him. But I don't know what wrong I did. But yeah, you know what? Let's just keep going. Messi. Oh, taps up a wins it. Messi wins a ball back. No way. Messi's defending is actually good. Mbappe. Mbappe to Rude Hullet. Rude Hullet. That's the second goal of the match. That's not really hard goal. I mean, that was good, quick passing. That's it. I mean, not even quick, quick passing, just normal passing. And we got lots of space there. And Rude Hullet comfortably finished it to make it 2 0. Okay. Okay. I think we might get. Uh, okay, never mind. Roberto Carlos did a great job there defending. Okay. He's clear. He's clear. Oh, Mbappe, that was amazing from Mbappe. I, I'm loving that, uh, you know, uh, what skill move that's called. I forgot the skill move name. Okay, anyways, whatever. I'm loving the skill move, guys. So, let's have a look at the goal. Yeah, flip flap or la croquette or something. I think that's the skill move. But yeah, that was a beautiful finish once again from Mbappe to make it 3-0. The team has been cooking and obviously, guys, with such a team, if I don't play well, I don't deserve to play this game. Simple. Oh, my God. Oh, Di Maria might score here. <laughs> How did he miss that, guys? And Rude Hullet. Uh, we, we had a clear chance there, guys. But you know what? 3-0. That's the end of the match. So that's it, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed this squad of great plus pack opening. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel and go watch this video next.